welcome to my channel diva side of an mua um today's look i really wanted to just work with color i just felt like today just using a, some bright colors or whatever so i kind of went with a teal purple and then i have a metallic mint green in the middle i just really wanted to use some color today um and also as far as my hair i know this is really something new I did kind of a short, long thing. I kind of want to still keep my diva length, a little little hair flowing on the side, but then want to try something short. Um, and this wig is actually called Riri, I believe. Riri. And I bought this at a local um, beauty supply store here in town. Um, so I'm really feeling this wig, something, something different for me. I um, want to try something short without cutting my own hair. And so um, this is a great alternative for, for people who are not sure if they want to have a style. Go ahead and try it out with the wig and then, you know, see how it looks on you. It's nothing that's permanent. All right, so I'm rambling. So the next thing, the two featuring products for this tutorial, um, one is from Glamour Girl Cosmetics, and this is their Cotton Candy uh, Pigment Tower that you can find on their website. Um, so it has a lot of shimmery colors and then it also has some matte colors in this particular uh, tower. Um, so there's like a matte white in there, if you can see that. And there's a matte baby blue. You know I love my matte colors. And then there's also some shimmer, some shimmer colors right there, like a shimmery crystal white right there so this is um one of their ta uh, towers one two three four five six a bit seven pigments in this particular uh tower i use the mint shimmery green metallic shimmery green and uh, mix it up with their setting spray to give it uh, like a wet type look to create this look so i'll post the link down below where you can purchase this particular tower on the glamour girl cosmetics website so the next thing is I finally um, purchased my Coastal Scents um, Blush 2 palette. Finally got that in the mail last week. Um, I really, really, the, the one thing that probably brought me and a lot of other people to this particular pa blush palette is the purple and orange. So they have a, this is a beautiful blush palette. I, I needed one for my kit. Um, I have a whole bunch of individual blushes, so this is something that I really used, um, that I really need to use, uh, especially working with my clients. Um, so this right here is the Blush 2 uh, palette. I've only used, I think this one and this one, maybe use this one one day, but um, this is the Blush 2 palette. Today I went ahead and used the Lavender Blush. It's really, I use it, it's very pigmented, so it's kind of subtle. I kind of lightly kind of put that bad boy on there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it really complimented the look. It's not crazy purple blush, but it's, I mean, it's, it's there. So if you can see it, I use the purple um, blush. Well, the lavender, purple lavender, whatever you want to call it. So that what, so that's right there. I haven't used the orange yet, but I'm excited and ready to use that. So this is the Blush 2 palette from Coastal Scents. And this is a must-buy. Very pigmented colors, and it does show up, ladies, if you know what I mean. It shows up on us. But, um, all right, well, stay tuned for the look. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.
Two, one.